this native plant and the seeds that this native plant has. The seeds. Yes, these are the seeds. And this plant is called a necklace pod. I like that name. You like that name? And the reason it's called a necklace pod is because the seeds look like a necklace, don't they? Yeah, they do. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these seeds in a little while and we're going to open them up and we're going to try to plant some of these seeds to make them grow so we can have some more native plants, which is what this is. It's a native necklace pod here in this park. And this plant is called a fire bush. And the reason it's called a fire bush is because of these which the uh, butterflies are attracted to and they'll come in and get the nectar from now now is I'm going to take a cutting of this plant and I'm going to cut the plant right down here because we want to get a good sample of the plant and then I'm going to snip off some of the smaller leaves like this and later on I'm going to show you how we're going to plant this in the soil to start this from a cutting to make the plant grow so we can plant it later on in this butterfly. And the way that we cut these is we need to cut them below the node. Below the node. And the node is where the leaves come out. So we cut it below the node because this is where the roots will come out of, below the node. So we always want to cut below a node. So I'm going to trim off a couple more of these leaves. And I'm going to ask you to carry that one as well. <laughs> okay. This is called a beauty berry. I wonder. A beauty berry, isn't it? Very beautiful. And that's why there's a lot of butterflies down this path, because they're attracted to this. And here, smell these. Can you smell it? And this is a very important food source for the birds and the butterflies as well. And the Native American Indians actually use this for medicinal purposes. So it's beauty berry, and you can actually plant beauty berry from the seeds, but you have to dry them out before you plant them. So that's beauty berry. Isn't it pretty? to do the fire bush. Let me have one. The fire bush, okay? And I'm going to show you how to how to plant it in the terrarium, okay? So let's take these right now. Let's take these. Let's go down here. Okay, so here We've got some cuttings that are growing already. These are also fire bush. You can see they're fire bush. Yeah. We've done these from cuttings as well. This is uh, porter weed, which also attracts butterflies. And this is some more necklace pod that we did from cuttings. Some more fire bush. See how good they're doing? I don't know. That's gooey stuff. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how we're going to build a terrarium. Is I need you to fill that pot up. You can do it with your hands. Fill that pot up with dirt. Fill it up a little bit more. Because in order for the root, the tree to grow, it needs to grow roots. So what we need to do is we need to dip this 
into the root tone. And what that does is it makes the plant start to grow roots. And we just want to put a little tiny bit on there because we don't want to put too much. And now what I want you to do is I want you to take your finger and made it, make a hole, like, you know, just straight down. Straight down all the way. There we go, that's good. And what we want to do is we want to put the plant in. And now we want to fill it up with the rest of the way with the soil. Put a little bit more soil. Okay, good job. It's like a blanket. It's like a blanket. Okay, now, what we're going to do is come over here. And what these are are two liter bottles that we've cut off the top to make it fit on top of the pot. And I'm going to show you now how to cut one of these two liter bottles. What we're going to do is we're going to learn how to recycle and reuse these two liter bottles that have been generously donated by Coca-Cola. So the way we do this is very carefully, and you need to have an adult do this. You can't do this yourselves. You have to take a very sharp blade, very sharp. If you can't do this yourself. You've got to have your mom or your dad or your teacher do that. And you put a, a starter cut into the bottle. And then you take snippers. around the edge of the bottle, make a nice straight cut all the way around. Okay, you want to pick that up for me? And then what we want to do is we want to take the label off very carefully, which you should just peel off. Go ahead, why don't you do that for me? Pull that piece for me too. Okay, let's put that in here so it doesn't blow away into the garbage. And then what we want to do is very carefully, we want to put this on top of the bottle so it completely covers the plant. And you can see that it fits right on top, very snugly, on top of the bottle. And then you have your terrarium. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Wow, it's cool. Completely self-contained. Once you water the plant, the water continues to recycle. In the morning, You'll see moisture accumulate at the top. And during the day, it'll go down and it'll keep the plant wet. So once you water it one time, you never have to water it again. The thing is that now, you don't want to leave this in the direct sun. You want to put it in indirect sun, like on a patio or a windowsill. Because if you leave it in the sun too long, then it may get too hot inside. So you don't want it to get too hot inside. You see the seed? So see if you can get one out. What you do is you just tear it a little bit with your nail. And then we get the seed, we pull the seed out. Got it? Don't lose the seed. Put the seed right there. So let's get all the seeds out of these pods. We're going to want to plant a few seeds because we don't know how many of the seeds will actually work. Okay, so what I need to do is take another pot okay. and fill it up with some more soil for me. Can you do that? Yeah. That's OK. 
okay. And then, uh, you know what? We, we don't want to make the holes too deep. Make another one right here. I can see she doesn't like, get, she doesn't mind getting her hands in. The seeds, you don't have to bury them as deeply. So we're going to actually fill this in just a little bit because we don't want to put the, the seeds too deep. Put a little soil in here. And then what I want you to do is drop one seed in each one of those holes. Jump. 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 Okay, now we want to take just a little bit of dirt. That's it. Another little house is for seeds. What's that? Another little house is for seeds. Little houses, that's it. Put a little dirt on top of that one. I want you to take, take the bottle and I want you to spit it right on top. Make sure all the sides are in. There we go. There's your, there's your terrarium for the seeds. Okay. There. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs>